Here we go. Heidi, interviewing Luke Bryan. We're answering listeners' questions. We're on my bus. Woo. Yes, we're on Luke's bus. Are you ready, Heidi? I'm ready. Excellent. I don't know the Thanks questions. Thanks for the intro. Sammy, get out of his underwear drawer, Sammy. These are hard-hitting questions, too, man. Hi, I'm Zoe from Bradenton. And Luke, I'd like to know uh, how long you've been in music and who inspired you to get into it. Um, I started playing honky tonks, you know, in my hometown when I was like 15. So, uh, I guess like 15 years now. Oh, Lord. But, uh, but I mean, what inspired me has just been, you know, performing on stage and watching, you know, watching the fans' reactions to, um, you know, to coming to the shows, you know, and, 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 and I was always in it for playing live and, 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 and getting on stage and performing. So that's kind of the whole motivating factor behind me wanting to be in the music business. So that's the, that's the big inspiration. Hi, Luke. I'm Don with Lucas and Bradenton. I grew up here in Florida. I'm, or you are redneck as I am. I eat possum and armadillo. Do you do the same? I have never eaten. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Up. Pressure's on, Tell Luke. them about today. <laughs> Tell them about today. All right, yeah, yeah. We, we pulled into, um, we pulled into, uh, you know, we're at the hotel and, I carry a kayak in my trailer, and um, <laughs> and uh, of course, behind the hotel, the Holiday Inn, right up, right up here, there's a huge lake. You know, it's like so. I put my kayak in that lake, and I'm out there with like all these alligators and stuff. And <laughs> so I mean, at any minute, I was like, I call my wife, and I'm like, well, maybe I may get attacked by an alligator any minute. <laughs> so I caught a couple bass and some drainage, you know, some 40 acre drainage. <laughs> You know, sewage, sewage runoff, you know, so that's pretty redneck, but I've done a lot more redneck stuff. You might be redneck if you're kayaking in a retention pond. Oh, I've got a, no, I've got a, no, I've got a great red, no, this is a better redneck story. I did this last Thanksgiving week, so I'm floating down the Flint River fishing, and I see a dead buck on the bank of the Flint River, and I know the guy that owns the land, so I call him up, and I'm like, Sam. Did, did anybody that hunting on your property shoot a shoot a buck, you know, and, and didn't find it? He goes, yeah, my little boy killed, shot an eight-pointer and we never found it. And I'm like, well, I got your deer. We lassoed his rack, hooked him to the boat, drug him two miles up the Flint River. <laughs> <laughs> drug him two miles up the Flint River, dropped him off to Sam and delivered his, his, uh, his eight-point buck to Sam's son. So, there you go, baby. That's, that's pretty redneck. Dragging a dead deer, yeah. Okay. That's where you're going to just mount the antlers, though. Exactly. The rest of the I thought it was great. The meat was... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would been it tastes like chicken. Days. I think you answered Don's question. Yes, I think that pretty well covered it. I'm J.D. Pierce uh, from Bradenton, Florida. I just wanted to know that since you're on the road all the time, is it hard to be away from your uh, wife and family? Well, I mean, you know, uh, I take a kayak out. They're floating with alligators. But, uh, but the main thing is just, uh, you know, try to call back home and, and keep in touch. Text messaging is, is like the king because, you know, you can, you know, you can really chew, you know, you can really uh, fight with your wife great over text <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, No, I'm playing. But, uh, but yeah, we do, um, you know, we, we, you know, every morning or something, Caroline takes pictures and sends them sends them to me, uh, you know, the baby and stuff, so I'm constantly getting updates. Why? Go ahead. Oh, we good. But yeah, so, Ke so, Car <laughs> so Caroline's always sending me pictures of Bo and stuff like that, so getting new updates. Hi, I'm Ron from Sarasota. My question is, if you were a mu musician, what would you be? Oh, man. Uh, probably, you know, I would either I'd always wanted to go into law, but I mean, if I would have stayed in Leesburg, my hometown, I would have probably uh, continued to work for my dad, who owns a fertilizer chemical company and a peanut company, or I would have branched off and, and went to work with my brother-in-law, who's a real estate appraiser and has a lot of real estate property and stuff, and maybe gotten a real estate, you know, license and stuff like that. But but hopefully I'm uh, hopefully I'll get to I'll get to sing for a few more years. You could so. Sing your own real estate commercial. Exactly. That would have been great. That was peanut, right? Peanut. Okay, peanut. Right. Hi, I'm Jan from Bella Pacina in Sarasota, Florida. And I have a question for Luke. Who's your favorite country star? Um, well, I would say, you know, who I would be most starstruck around is probably Straight. You know, um, Straight or Alan Jackson. And, and um, 
but yeah, Devil. I mean, definitely straight. I think he's he's probably across the board. You know, from now to but you know, I was a big Millsap fan early on too. So so I mean, it, there's so many, but but I mean, you know, if, we, if I had to say one, definitely George Strait. Here are some phrases you should know. Example two. CTQ is my number one station. Bradenton's Country 1065 CTQ.